10.35, Live Friday is upon us once again. And as you've heard me say, if you've been with us for the last hour or so, uh, in the studio with me, um, we, we don't often have large musical instruments. Today we have probably the largest musical instrument we've had set up in an ABC Riverina studio in quite some time. It is an electric grand piano uh, sitting waiting patiently at said electric grand piano is Amy Bruard. Amy is the winner of Tumba's Got Talent. She's going to sing, she's going to play the piano for us, but we're going to have a chat first. Amy, welcome to ABC Riverina's Live Friday. Hi. Tell me about, firstly, the uh, you as, the, as a pianist. When did you start playing the piano? I uh, started when I was around seven. Mm-hmm. And, and how old are you now, if you don't mind uh, me asking? 29. Okay. <laughs> so uh, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, the piano you have here, which has me absolutely fascinated, an electric grand piano. We don't see a lot of them very often. Yeah, we got it from Canberra in one of the music shops over there mm-hmm. probably five years ago. And um, it's it's quite a feat to see it set up because you've got to, you, know, you, you can take the legs off it and, uh, and it's got the foot pedals and everything on there. Yeah, we're uh, looking at getting a portable suit. <laughs> my, that's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> my husband actually built the box to... Mm-hmm. Cart it around in, and yeah, he takes the legs off with the drill, and and the box is out in the in the car park at the moment here at yeah. uh, ABC Riverina. <laughs> so we'll uh, hopefully it doesn't get rained on too much. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, now, uh, as we said, you uh, uh, you won the uh, Tumba's Got Talent yep. quest, which meant you got to go and play at Tumba Fest. Um, yep. What was all that like? The, the, the whole process of entering the talent quest and going from there. Uh, it was all fun. Um, I didn't think I'd win because. There's a lot of other talent there. Um, yeah, it was a great day. I got to see other bands and musicians. So it's uh, really good yeah. experience. Mm-hmm. Yep. So what did you play at the, at the Talent Quest? Uh, dream a Little Dream by the Mamas and Papas mm-hmm. and a modern song Stay by Rihanna. Okay, great song. Yeah, modern good, one. Good stuff. So. Well, let's give people, as we like to do, a, a bit of a flavour of your music and then we'll chat a bit more uh, as... Uh, we also like to do here on Live Friday. Yep. Uh, you mentioned Dream a Little Dream. Yep. Um, uh, can we have that one first up this morning? Surely can. <laughs> Terrific. Live Friday on ABC <laughs> Riverina. Amy Bruard is in the studio with us to share some of her music with us. And this is Dream a Little Dream. seem to whisper I love you birds singing in the sycamore tree dream a little dream of me say nighty night and kiss me just hold me tight and tell me you miss me while I'm alone and blue as can be dream a little dream of me stars fading but I linger on dear still craving your kiss I'm longing to linger till dawn dear just saying this sweet dreams till sunbeams find you Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you But in your dreams, whatever they be Dream a little dream of me Stars fading, but I linger on, dear Still craving your kiss I'm longing to linger till dawn, dear just saying this Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you But in your dreams, whatever they be Dream a little dream
Amy Breward, live in Studio 273 on Live Friday. There's applause going on outside the room. I don't know whether you're aware of that, Amy. It's, it's a bit hard to tell in here, but uh, you've impressed people around the building this morning, so well done. Yeah. Well done. Uh, I've got to ask some more about, the, uh, about now that we've heard, um, heard the piano. Um, it, it's got a really interesting sound because there's the piano, but it's got the, the other keyboard effects in there as well. What can you do with this? What, 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 can you, what sounds um, can you make? There's that much. I haven't read all the books, that many <laughs> things. Um, what I had then was uh, slow strings, mm-hmm. um, bright piano. So I've changed the sound of the grand piano yeah. and then added the strings for the extra, you know. So you can really come up with a, with a, a variety of sounds on there? Yeah, electric, piano, uh, violin, guitar. Is, is it too much to ask you to sort of, sort of skip through a few things and, and give us a little bit that. of a sample now? Not, yeah. not, not, not playing tunes, but just to give okay. people a demonstration because it's one of the more interesting instruments we've had in the studio here, so yeah, great chance I'll to showcase it a little bit. Put it on the demo. Yeah, cool. A little bit different here as we... Grand piano now. Mm-hmm, yep. Demo. Grand piano too. Sounds a bit of <laughs> uh, electric piano. Yeah. I'm guessing you've got sort of hundreds of um a lot. Of, yep. <laughs> hundreds of things you can you can come up with there. So um yeah, we'll um uh, yeah, we, we obviously won't go through all of them there, but it's uh, yep. it is tremendous. And it, um, from an instrument that looks like a a grand piano. Let's talk more about you than your than your uh, musical instrument. Now, you mentioned you were uh, young, uh, seven eight, when you started playing the piano. Yep. Um, what about singing? Singing at the same time? Or no, I didn't start till I was eighteen, so a lot later mm-hmm. in life. So I'm still actually taking lessons in Sydney, training. Yeah. So. But um, you never try- t- you, know, you never stop learning when you're singing, do you? No. <laughs> no. So I'm trying to master that now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what about playing around the place? Are you doing shows or, or, or around the region? Yeah, um, community events. And I hold my own concerts, charity concerts in Batlow. Um, I also play for the choir. And I try and do a bit of dinner music for events, like Cider Festival and oh, nice. Batlow. Yeah. We get yep. now we get music, musicians from uh, all over the place coming uh, coming in for Live Friday here, uh, and it's interesting when we when we speak to people from places like Wagga and Griffith, live bands and live performers, uh, they've got I suppose more options in terms yep. of playing because just because of the po- the size of the population setter. Someone like yourself from Batlow, there, there are there wouldn't be too many places in Batlow or too many events in Batlow you can play it, would there? No, and I'm just starting to. You know, go elsewhere now, trying to get more work. And so the so the travels on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what was the reaction like to your set at uh, at the festival? Uh, I was just over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so the crowd enjoyed themselves. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was a really good weekend. I went both days. So. Mm-hmm. And did you get a chance to you know do the the, the backstage thing and you know, rub shoulders with a few other performers and compare notes and so on? Yeah, got to talk to the other. Performers and so who who was uh, who was a highlight to me? Is there anyone in particular who stood out? Um, well, I did like Richard Clapton. Um, well, you know, you can you, you can do worse. <laughs> the other <laughs> contestants that I was against, they mm-hmm. were really good. Um, I really like Bailu, a country. country hey, they're singer. good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, really powerful. Mm-hmm. Country voice. The whole, the whole setup there with the, with Bailu is very good. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, and who do you listen to? You know, what, what's in? If I was to ask, what's in what's in your car at the moment, or what's in your in your MP3 player? What are you listening to at the moment? Um, I really like Nora Jones because I'm trying to learn the jazz sort of style. Yeah. So she's perfect for that. Mm-hmm. Um, a bit of rock and Birdie. Yeah. Because she plays the piano and sings. So. So, um, so you Joni pick- Mitchell. Ah, now you're talking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, so there's a, there's a real strong, uh, obviously female vocalist influence in in what you're listening to at the moment. Yeah. And have you thought about writing your own stuff yet, or is that uh, is is that still on the list to come? Um, I've written a lot of songs, but they're unfinished. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to work on that now, so I can hopefully record them here in Wagga. Because because uh, that was part of your prize, wasn't it, for 
uh, yeah, winning four a, hours yeah. recording. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's with our good friend Grant Lurs. Yep. And I should give Grant a plug because he'll be on the radio tomorrow morning on our Saturday morning breakfast show as well. And I'm sure that at some stage when... Uh, have, you, have you done your recording with Grant yet? No, not yet. Yeah, well, I'm sure when that's done, there'll be a chance for us to uh, play a little bit of what uh, the end product comes up like here on ABC Riverina as well. So yep, we'll do that for good. you down the track. Yep. Uh, now, uh, so you did uh, Dream a Little Dream and you did uh, Stay by Rihanna. And I believe you also played You're So Vain, the, the Carly Simon classic. Yep, Carly Simon. <laughs> you like Carly Simon? Yep. Okay, well... Your chance to do your very best Carly Simon for us now at 13 to 11 on ABC Riverina's Live Friday. Are you ready? Yep. Got to get the piano back into into uh, play mode, so we'll let you do that. Yep. But uh, this is Live Friday on ABC Riverina. Amy Breward, the winner of Tumba's Got Talent for this year. If you uh, were at Tumba Fest, you may well have seen Amy play, but we've invited her in to uh, give us a couple of tunes this morning. And here is her take on the Carly Simon song, You're So Vain. Strategically dipped below one eye Your scarf it was apricot You had one eye in the mirror As you watch yourself go out And all the girls dreamed that they'd be your partner They'd be your partner And you're so vain You probably think the song is about a pretty pair and that you would never leave but you gave away the things you loved and one of them was me I had some dreams they were clouds in my coffee clouds in my coffee and you're so vain you probably think this song is about you you're so vain Amy Bruard uh, is uh, in the studios with us this morning and giving us her take on Carly Simon's You're So Vain. How do you prepare, Amy, for, for talent quests and so on? Because it's always a difficult audience to play to when you're doing that, isn't it? Yeah, just practice, mm-hmm. learn things by memory. It's the best way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. Do you hang around with the with your fellow competitors backstage in, in the warm up, or are you more of a, a prepare by yourself? Yeah, more myself, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We should give a mention too, by the way, to the other uh, winners from uh, Tumba's Got Talent who went through to perform at Tumba Fest: uh, Jessica Maroney, Jess Crossman, and Rebecca Clark. We should congratulate them as well because yep, they all, they all got to go through. And I think it's a great initiative too. Um, you know, for local musicians to actually get a chance to perform at what is one of the more iconic festivals from around the region, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yep. So, what's the future hold for you? You know, what would you like to see over the next uh, little while with your performing? Uh, I want to finish songwriting and try and record. Mm -hmm. I'm with the band in Batlow. I play with them, so hopefully they can back me up with my own songs and just to do more performing and get better. So like dinner music. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, have you got a band uh, already lined up? Yeah, the Loose Union from Batlow. Ah, cool. And where yeah. are they? And how often do you get together and play there? Um, probably once a month. Not that much, but. Hopefully in the future we can do a bit more. Well, one of the great things we can do here is we can give it a bit of a mention. So have you got any gigs coming up, any shows coming up that people can get along to and see you and or the band in action? Yep. Thank you very much. So so where are, where are, where, where, where are you playing in the near future? Anywhere you can let us know about? Um, the Cider Fest in May, mm -hmm. uh, the th third weekend, I think, in May. Um, I'm doing the dinner music the night before and then on the Saturday performing. And the band will be there too. So. Ah, terrific stuff. Other performers from around the area, so be good. Well, we wish you all the very best of luck. And thank you very much for coming in. And it's thank a, you for I, having me. I, I, know it's been, I know it's been quite an effort, and uh, I know you've been videoing, so we'll, we'll uh, uh, you'll get it up on uh, on YouTube. So we'll get that up, and we'll make sure we uh, point people towards it from uh, from our Facebook and our uh, website as well, and to, uh, so that people can see um, <laughs> see the setup. It's yep. amazing. You look at this uh, large electric grand piano and um, the size of our door, and you can work out why you've got to take the legs off uh, to get it in. But thank you very much for coming in. And keep it close on how you're going. Me. And when you get your recordings done with Grant, let us know about them, okay? I will do. Thank Terrific. you. Thank you for coming in. Amy Breward, one of the stars from Tumba's Got Talent. She got to play at Tumba Fest as well. Uh, our guest this morning on Live Friday here on ABC Riverina, where it is 10.53.